Hey guys, this is Jesse, and I'm going to show you how to make a simple hip hop rhythm in GarageBand. First, what you want to do is double click on the grand piano icon, and it'll bring up a menu. You want to select drum kit and whatever kit you like. I select hip hop kit because I like the sound of it. Now that you have your instrument selected, you want to get at your keyboard. So you can go to Window, click Musical Typing, or if you don't want to do that, you can press Shift Command K, and it'll appear just like that. Next, what you want to do is you want to click Record, wait for the metronome to count you in, and then start. As you can see, I wasn't very happy with that, so I'm going to delete that and lower the tempo to about 80 and try again. Click record, wait for the metronome to count you in, and then proceed with your typing. Okay, now that you have your clip, you want to edit it, so you can uh, get rid of your keyboard for this part. So you can double click on the segment itself to edit it, and you want to line up each little note uh, to its corresponding line. This is a very tedious process, but stay with it and it will turn out for the better. Once you have it all edited and um, to its corresponding line, you can uh, add as many notes as you want to it. It's your music, do whatever you want. Uh, then you want to play it back. If it sounds weird or uh, something's off, then you would want to uh, fix that, obviously. But uh, if it sounds okay, then you can proceed to the next step, which is, in my opinion, you need to add a hi-hat. So I'm just going to copy a note, and then I'm just going to move it over to my hi-hat sound. Then I'm just going to copy and paste uh, the note that is in my hi-hat sound. I'm going to play it back, and I feel that it needs a little bit more. Uh, you may not feel that it needs a little bit more, but it's your music. So uh, again, copy and paste it. This is also a very tedious process. And once you're finished, you can then play it back. And if it sounds good, then you're finished. But if you think it needs a little bit more, then you might want to proceed to what I'm doing right now. Uh, these are called 30-second notes, and uh, these give uh, give your music a little bit more of a, uh, a hip-hop feel. Uh, I feel that every good piece of music really needs it. Next you want to play it back, and if it sounds good, then you're finished. If it doesn't sound good and you feel that it needs to be a little bit longer, then uh, you do that. But what I do is uh, I like to add a drum fill at the end, because most hip hop music that I listen to has a drum fill at the end of uh, four bars. So I'm going to add a little 30, 30 second note drum fill at the end of my four bars. Next, all you have to do is play back your drum fill and then loop it. Then you have yourself a simple beat in GarageBand and the final product will sound like this.